The product that I'm introducing you to today is a uh, zap alarm clock, alarm clock bracelet that is able to um, sort of jolt the person awake, really remind them of what they need to be doing, sort of a reminders list, but at the same time, not just vibrating and maybe going unnoticed, making sure that the user actually gets the experience, the tingle in their wrist, the feeling of knowing that there's um, something for them to be doing, or maybe just waking up or um, maybe breaking a bad uh, habit if they choose to. Um, it can also be used uh, as sort of like a beneficial uh, RFID bracelet type of situation. Um, each person it could be like an Apple Watch, not necessarily the same thing with the screen and everything, but um, maybe plug in your computer. You could have it being identified to you. You could have your credit cards in without you having to type them in yourself. It can be done through your computer and just store the information on your wrist. And um, huge benefit to that is just the way that um, like Mr. or Professor Rubin has said in class before, uh, the fact that RFID technology is really taking off in the industry these days. And so for a company like Amazon that's supposed to be developing these grocery stores that supposedly have the RFID where it scans all your items as you walk, as you walk out of the uh, grocery store, um, a huge benefit to that could just be the RFID bracelet where if you're in that very grocery store, you'll know where certain things are. It can buzz you if there's a product in the aisle that you're in that you may have walked past and didn't see, but you have it on your shopping list. Um, be very beneficial just in, in terms of just reminding everyone, just making sure that everyone stays on top of what they need to do. Um, it's definitely um, a product that it could definitely benefit a lot of people who are struggling with you know being lazier, um, not necessarily really finding like the motivation or always just let things slip past their mind. I know there's a lot of kids in college that have that happen to them with um, studying and homework and you know it's it would just make it a lot simpler if the product was able to um, beep you but not in, this, not in the way that can go unnoticed it's a little uh, zap shock um, if you've ever used one of those uh, fake pens before where if you push down it gives you a little tingle in your finger it's the same way it's sort of able to um, shock like or sorry surprise you you know it surprises your nerves your body's not prepared for it but without leaving any lasting pain or any real pain at all, it's just a sort of feeling of numbness. It's uh, very similar to how smelling salts or ammonia inhalants are used on athletes, um, especially in the professional world where if they're knocked unconscious like in boxing, um, the uh, doctor or whoever is there to take care of the uh, athletes in, in the sport uh, waves it over their nose to sort of, sort of uh, jolt them awake and surprise their nerves. They, they, aren't, they aren't ready for it. And so it's a similar idea in the bracelet. Um, it's not necessarily a watch or anything like that. It doesn't really serve any of the purpose other than storing your information for an RFID uh, purpose and the uh, temporary shock that will just like very soft shock that would able to be able to wake you up, but also not necessarily cause you any harm or pain or leave any um, lasting uh, memorable experience. Just something to you know make sure that you. Uh, become aware of what's going on, what you need to be able to do. Thank you for uh, listening.